Hello, everyone. This is Kathy from Divine Debut. Welcome to my channel. Today is actually the seventeenth of April. Now, a couple of days late. I know it could not be helped. So these readings are from the fifteenth of April until end of April. Even though they're done on the seventeenth, I still feel as though they need to be from where the previous readings left off. Now, it's not going to be the same for everyone. Of course, this is a general reading. So you need to look at what the readings are about. See if they resonate with you. Please check out your sun, moon and rising signs, please. I do have some new cards for you, which I will introduce in a second. So for those of you that want to go straight to the reading, I will put in the description box below how long the introduction is and that is this introduction is for the people that are interested so I don't want any complaints I've put the time beneath so go straight to the tarot reading if you are not interested in the, in the introduction I am going to speak a little bit of astrology for those of you who are astrology lovers so just generally speaking people Mercury has gone direct a day and a half ago okay so Mercury is in Aries it's still in um, its shadow moving direct but it is you know starting to move fast every day uh, faster and faster they do say that the planet of Mercury is still invisible so for Gemini and Virgo especially since we are ruled I'm a Virgo we are ruled by Mercury, um, give it a bit of time, okay, things are starting to pick up slowly. So um, in about eight hours we've got Venus and Jupiter opposition, which Venus is love and money and all that beautiful stuff, whatever we love, that is Venus. She is right opposite to uh, Jupiter in Scorpio. So Scorpio is transformation, you know, birth, uh, death and rebirth. It's transformation big time with anything to do love and money and anything, as I said, that we love. So, you know, Jupiter is bringing up everything that is hidden, everything that is deep and dark. So just letting everyone know that the energies are very difficult at the moment, but things are going to be clearing. Now we've got a beautiful trine with Mars and Venus. They are the lovers of the zodiac. Okay, so what is Mars for you? Mars in Capricorn. Mars is right in between Pluto and Saturn. They are in Capricorn, those three big players. Let's say Mars is a personal planet, but uh, Saturn and, and uh, Pluto, which are the outer planets and the big players of the Zodiac, are right there with Mars. And Black Moon Lilith is there, you guys, I'm telling you. Uh, Mars is the, um, you know, our passion, our passion trying to push forward whatever we feel strongly about it is meeting up with black moon lilith black moon lilith is oh my god very difficult energy just know that what is happening at the moment um, is going to bring changes right and as you know in the news with you know russia and the us and the bombing in syria um I'm just going to pray to God that, you know, things are not going to be as difficult as what they are showing up to be. We've got Uranus in Mars, uh, sorry, in Aries, and it is ready to move out. It is moving into Taurus in a month. So with the new moon in Aries, and happy birthday to all you Aries people. New moon in Aries for the next month is going to be major things happening. You know, Uranus is the rebel. It is the revolution. Um, it is all about what is, you know, electrical. It is the wire, the wired electrical storm. It is the earthquake, you guys. 
I don't want to scare you. I'm just saying that there are massive, massive things happening. Let's see how they happen for each and every one of us. Um, you know, with Uranus moving into Taurus, I feel as though it's wonderful. It's moving into what we value. That's what Taurus is all about. Taurus is also the earth. Okay, so there may be um, things happening like earthquakes, literal earthquakes happening in the world. So um, let's brace ourselves, major changes coming in. Chiron is moving into Aries in about eight hours. Chiron has been in Aries, um, sorry, Chiron has been in Pisces for about seven years. It's going to stay in Aries for eight years. Chiron is the wounded healer. The wounds are, um, it's like the wound that we've put the band-aid on. Chiron is trying to heal hidden wounds. Pisces is all about hidden matters. It is the 12th dark house. It's the last house in the zodiac. It's like there's a new beginning here with Chiron moving into Aries. So Aries, um, you're going to have Chiron there for the next eight years. Whatever wounds you've had from a previous life, from your childhood, from past lives, it's going to come up for healing. So new things beginning with Aries, which is the youth of the Zodiac. Now Saturn is going retrograde. Saturn in Capricorn is going retrograde in just over a day. I feel as though there's going to be a chance for us to work things over, redo things. Saturn is the strict teacher. It is the closed door. There's going to be a period of time where we can have a little bit of leeway, a little bit of a chance to redo things, whatever has been restrictive in our lives. Anything to do with Capricornian matters. Capricorn is the 10th house in the Zodiac. It is the house of work. It is the house of our status, how people see us in life, in the world. Now, um, Pluto is going retrograde in about six days. Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto is death and rebirth. It is the, um, it is the planet of transformation. It is the ruler of Scorpio, as is Mars, which is the uh, second ruler of Scorpio. Mars is also the ruler of Aries. And, um, you know, Aries is the warrior, so Mars is the warrior. So, uh, goodness me, so much going on, you guys. I don't want to stay in astrology for too long. People um, do come to my channel for tarot slowly and steadily. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview with the astrology major things are going on okay wonderful things difficult things it's a mixed bag of goodies at this time another thing I just wanted to point out in about um, in about 14 hours Venus is having a trine with Pluto there is going to be a massive transformation a very positive transformation in any matters to do with money and love okay I will leave it at that if anything comes to mind I will come back to astrology. Okay, let's look at the cards that I've got. I've got new tarot cards, you people. I love them. Now, these are the cards that I am totally in love with. Okay, this is the packet. They come from Italy, Tarot 3D. And David Corsi is the artwork, as you can see here look at the look at the 3d images images I will be pulling one major arcana it's only the major arcana cards here in this tarot deck and I will be pulling one as a general energy for for your reading today as the cards move um, you can actually see, you know, when you move the card, you see the actual picture moving. 
it is just gorgeous I love it it is a very big size so it's hard to to shuffle but I will do my best for you okay okay so that's only the major arcana cards as I said I will be pu pulling only one card now I've got the Albano weight tarot which I have been looking at for a while wanting to get my hands on it Albano white tarot they are just gorgeous by Frankie Albano okay and they are from Italy as well so what I love about them is that the there's different colors in the deck they're very easy to read I love the Rider weight tarot but the colors are just so so gorgeous okay so they're very easy to shuffle very easy and they're quite slippery but they are so beautiful and I just wanted to mention that the color white is the theme for me in the second part look at the card the lovers white is the color theme for me in the second part of April white is the color of purity the color of innocence and you know I just absolutely love the set out for you today white is very important white is also the color of um, anything that is very very um, innocent so there is a sense of innocence for me in this time also I would like to show you the Gilded Reverie Lenormand by Ciro Marchetti okay it's the expanded edition it's just just gorgeous look at how the case opens up it has the little book inside it is an expanded version so it's got a few extra cards in there and also for those of you that are familiar usually there is the card of the woman which would stand for either yourself or another woman but in this edition there are two women okay as well as having two men so number 29 is the woman 28 is the man but we've got two sets of each now for me I would say that you need to look at the pictures and see what they mean for you who is your partner let's say or you and like what is familiar to you in these sets of cards it could be let's say this is you you're more the athletic type of a man let's say if you are a male and this is another man in your life in your story or the same goes for the woman right we do have a couple that is much more open with their sexuality so that could be something that is important for you and also we do have another couple which is you know much more grounded much more innocent let's say you know depending on how you look at the illustrations I believe that that is very important okay so see if these come up in your reading okay I love this deck it is absolutely gorgeous I will be pulling a couple of cards depending on what I feel I need to do okay so it's going to be again a quick reading so I think that's enough blabbering on um, let's go you guys let's begin my love to all of you thank you for being here you are so appreciated hello dear Capricorn this is Kathy speaking from Divine Debut how is everyone nice to have you here this is your reading for the 15th of April till the 30th of April 2018 love and general messages coming in for you dear Capricorn how much is going in your sign what is happening in your house you've got Saturn there you've got Pluto there you've got Mars and black moon Lilith goodness me 
whatever it is that justice is trying to be brought forth, you are trying to find your balance. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra or you may be going through legal issues where there is an offer coming in that you will not be pleased with. Now, it's either you're making the offer or someone else is offering you something that you are not going to be happy with. So show me, dear universe, spirit guides and angels, for Capricorn. Capricorn and all those difficult energies. <laughs> Saturn will be going retro in a few days. Okay, so that's going to give you a bit of a breather, dear Capricorn. Let's see. General and love messages for Capricorn, and that is the second part of April. In the now position, we've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, so you're dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Wow, in the distant past, the Five of Swords. In the recent past, the Page of Swords. I do believe that a lot of you are dealing with Libra. A Libran individual. Crowning your reading is the, the lovers. Okay, if it's not Libra, it's Gemini. And wow, in the near future, you're going to be successful, dear Capricorn. Success is at your feet here. Okay, look at you. I believe that this is your energy. For most of you, I believe that this is your energy. Queen of Wands, which is you are showing up very passionately. You are going for the gold, going for the gold, succeeding in business, obviously. Anything that you've given birth to creatively, whatever decision you're going to make is going to be uh, the right decision. And that is in love, in family situations, in romance, in anything. Now, we've got... A couple of sword cards. Let me take first of all a major arcana card for Capricorn, dear universe. One general, the general energy card, major arcana. Okay, let me see. And this is for you, Capricorn. Ooh, there's your energy, the devil himself. And we do say better the devil we know than the one we don't. So what does that mean for you? What does that mean for you? You know what? I'm going to take one more because I can. Okay. And I know which card it's going to be. And it's not the card that I thought it was going to be. What was, what was I looking at? I was looking at this card here in my mind. And that is the justice card. And I felt as though this was going to happen for you. So for some of you, this is very important. Remember as I was shuffling, yes, it's so good that we've got the card of Cancer, which is your opposite sign. So we've got Capricorn and Cancer here. Wow. So um, just a second, I want to close the door. Hold on. I had the, the door, the breeze hitting my back and I feel as though I'm going to get sick. Okay, so we've got number 15 and number 7, which equals 2, 22. That's a master number. 2 and a 2. Anything to do with families. I feel as though we are dealing with family matters here. I don't know why that is ringing in my head. This is the card of Cancer. Cancer is all about the home and the family, yeah? And I feel as though if we are dealing with business, it's going to be successful. Look, we've got a six here. This is in the near future. Six of wands. And I feel as though this is your energy. Um, crowning your reading is the lovers. It's another six, which is another number of balance. So even if we look at your the uh, devil card, which is uh, 15, right? One and a five equals six. And then we've got number seven, which is which is the chariot, yeah? So breaking free, 
from anything that you felt like you could not move freely from, anything that was binding, even though it is your energy, you feel as though you were just what? You had too much competition? Is that what you felt? Because in the distant past, you've got the Five of Swords. So this is competitive um, energy here, perceptive energy, which is too competitive. It's just too harsh for you. You had difficulty, even though you're a fighter, but you're more with the Earth, dear Capricorn. This is more perceptive energy. So you were dealing with a very strong, could be Gemini or Libra in the recent past, Page of Swords. Now, this could even be a youngster, a someone who's up to the age of 25, speaking their truth. This is in the recent past. Could this be an adolescent child that you are dealing with? I did say we are dealing with family, a family situation here, and there is a decision that you're needing to do, head over heart decision. Whatever you decide on is going to be good. Now, the devil energy can be sex, drugs, and rock and roll, right? Now, the chariot can be a literal car. It can be any sort of um, anything that can take you from point A to point B. So that could even be a motorbike or whatever. I feel as though there's some sort of a, a story here with the young person... <clears throat> A young person overcoming something that was quite difficult because the energy of the devil is difficult energy. Yes, it is restrictive, it is binding, it is something that is above you, something that is stronger than you. And it just, you know, you feel chained and bound. Limitations a sense of having limits and not being able to, to push past that. But having these two cards together here, okay, these two cards together here, Capricorn, are absolutely fantastic. Now, we could be talking about the time when the nodes turn, change from Leo and Aquarius, they turn... They go to, let's say, they change to Cancer and Capricorn. That could be the time that we are talking about where there's going to be success. Now, for others of you, you may be actually choosing between two different people. We've got Cancer here. We've got Gemini here. Yes. And they could have strong Libra in their chart. Some of them may be actually even coming out of divorce because we've got the um you did have sorry the the justice card fall out so if you are dealing with a cancerian person they could have gemini let's say in their chart as being their moon sign whatever the case i feel as though the queen of wands is your energy let me look at uh, the Queen of Wands. And this is the Lenormand. Gilded Reverie Lenormand. The Expanded Edition. Let's see what we've got. We've got these, the Fox. And the Fox is number 14, which again can add up to a 5. The 1 and the 4 equal a 5. So again, that's another 5. But 5 speak of change coming in, right? And then we've got the number nine. So what the fox says here is that you're going to have to either be intelligent about something to become successful in business or whatever you're trying to accomplish, or, or there is something sneaky that you are up to, okay? You are being very sneaky. You are doing something without people knowing. Whatever it is, though, you are looking out for your own good. And sometimes that can be good, but sometimes it cannot be good. So each and every one of you have got a different story. I'm looking at the lovers right now to see what that's all about. 
What is this decision? Oh my God, decision again. Do you remember I said number 22? I added up the 15 and the 7, it added up to 22. That's your lucky number. What does that say to you? Look at the stairway to heaven. Another sign had this, the stairway to bliss, and that was Aquarius. So if any of you are dealing with an Aquarian, because we do have air sign here, it could be Libra or Aquarius or Gemini. There is a choice here. Whatever the choice, you've got two choices, okay? Two choices, and that may be because you are dealing with two different people. We've also got a Q, the letter Q here. Now, Q is difficult to get something, you know, a name with Q. Aquarius has got a Q in it. If that means anything to you, I'm going to take one more on that because I can. Okay, so choices, the stairway to heaven. And we've got the man, number 28. He's quite a conservative guy. I don't know if you watched the first part of the video. I said that there are two men and two women. Nevertheless, it's a 28, which equals a 10. A 2 and an 8 equal 10. And we've got an A here. So this is quite a conservative guy, quite a romantic sort of a guy. He's holding a, a rose in his hand. It looks as though he's ready to make an offer to someone. So... I'm going to take some Sibylas, actually, to Capricorn. I want to see now. This could be your energy. This could be you, right? And you could be the one that's got the choice to make. I'm going to take some Sibylas. If this is your partner, you girls out there, girls or even gay guys, homosexual guys then you've got a choice you've got a choice or your partner's got a choice let's take some Sibylas on that and we've got Morte which is the energy of Scorpio Superbia which is something superb so something is dying something is transforming something good is coming in Sacerdote is the priest now this could be Taurian energy or secrets are going to come to light or this could be keeping the faith that you will come to a point of stability a point of commitment maybe this guy maybe if this is you or your partner whoever it is you are being um you are moving forward because there is an offer of love coming in an offer of stability this could be a soulmate relationship. Now, some of you may be dealing love and church, maybe trying to make a decision between one person, a person, and a religion. And that's going to bring you transformation. Um, and that's a very hard decision. Maybe you are dealing with a foreigner. Maybe they're of a different background. And maybe that's why you feel like you've got the devil here. This is very difficult energy. But you finally overcome it. Now some of you may be literally moving with the card of cancer. Yes. Literally moving. And this could be overseas. Let me take... I'm going to take three Sibylas on the Major Arcanas. I've got the Amalato, which is low morale. Then I have Amore, which is little Cupid. It speaks of love. And then we've got the Consolante Sopresa, which is a consolation prize. But it is, for me, it's like Uranian energy. Something nice coming in. Something great coming in in relation to love, which is going to lift your spirits. So whatever this difficult Capricorn energy is, 
And whatever Uranus is doing in Aries is going to bring you, because Uranus is moving into Taurus on the 15th of May. Whatever is going on, it feels as though you've got the chariot, you've got support here, you might have, you could even have a Cancer in person being there for you, one that is all about home, all about stability, all about the family. What can I say? I think that I will leave it there for now. Dear Capricorn, wow. All I know is that in the near future, you've got the six of wands. Okay, so success in anything to do with creative projects, anything to do with passion, you are showing up very passionately this time. And I think that that's what's going to get you through. Okay. You've got the ability to overcome whatever you're going through. Do keep well, Capricorn. My love to all of you. I will see you in May. Bye for now.